everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Norma, and this is my week 33 or 34, I'm not sure which week it is, but it's not that important. Um, yeah, uh, stats. Um, 167 this week. Last week I was 166, so I'm up one pound, but it's okay. I'm all right with it because I know that that's the way of gastric bypass. Uh, sometimes you hold in some water and it uh, depends on what you eat, you know, if you eat salty foods, of course your body's going to retain it. Uh, also, if you don't drink 64 ounces of water, your body will retain the fluid that it can. So, what you have to remember is try to get that water in so that that way maybe your weight will go down. Also, you might push it up a little bit and do some extra exercise, but to confuse your body, don't do the same things every day. One day cardio, one day do something else, walk, run. Anyways, I uh, came on today, I wasn't going to do a video this week. Um, usually I do it on Tuesdays, and here it's Wednesday. But I thought I would because I was having something that was so scrumptious, and I thought I'd share it with you. If you have had sushi, I know that you enjoy uh, fish and vegetables and the sushi rolls. Well, this is sort of like the Mexican sushi. And I'll tell you what I bought. And I'll show you what it looks like so that this way you can get a chance to see what I mean. Of course, I always did love black and white videos and so that's why I'm doing it today this way. But I'll take it off so you can see the color of the food and appreciate it. Here we go. Well, maybe not. All right. Anyways, what I did is that, uh, here it is. I bought a pound of shrimp and then I diced up a half a tomato, a half of onion, some cilantro, and uh, one chili pepper the green kind is good but the yellow one is better because it's not so hot and you just mix it all up and what you do is you sprinkle lemon juice on your shrimp so that this way believe it or not the lemon juice will cook the shrimp and you let it uh, soak in it for about two hours and it will taste absolutely scrumptious it is absolutely nice and cold from the refrigerator and you will love to enjoy this um, you could eat it with uh, corn chips um, of course I don't really eat a lot of corn chips but that's traditionally how they eat ceviche um, although if I really want the crunch I will get a low-fat corn chip and break it up and sprinkle it on top like a garnish so that this way you're not getting so many calories and I think that that's good now, a lot of people like to add fish, like uh, maybe some red snapper or some white fish. Uh, make sure that there is no um, uh, any kind of uh, like the skin or, of course, fish bones. You don't want to have that go down your throat. But this is a really low calorie dish and it has a lot of protein and uh, it is very tasty and on hot summer days it is something that will go down really good um, yeah try this this is uh, something that's authentically a uh, Hispanic uh, dish ceviche is very popular uh, some people like to sprinkle uh, hot sauce over it and they put it over a corn tortilla that's been um, fried or you could bake it with some spray some little uh, Pam on it and put it on the in the oven for a little bit and it'll get nice and toasty and you could eat it like that if you want to eat the corn tortilla but frankly I really just like it just plain regular it is good some people like to also add sliced uh, diced up uh, cucumber and that tastes good also so there you go a little tip for you if you want to watch those calories and get a lot of protein this is really a good uh, dish sorry about the flour it's a little corny huh all right well that's my life the way it is right now i'm loving life and so my life is full of lollipops and candy <laughs> anyways thank you all for watching my nonsense i'm just living life and loving it and i hope that all of you are having a wonderful week 
now I'm gonna go watch 